It's interesting that uh, a colleague of mine and a gentleman that you would know now quite well, Terry uh, from Ajahn Terry from the Learning Post of the Bangkok Post, told me about a gentleman who looks after industrial design at the International School of Bangkok. You may have read the story a week or two ago about this gentleman who's got youngsters designing, let me say, the most unusual. But let me t let him tell you the story. I'm very pleased to welcome from the International School Bangkok, Mr. Derry Hoshberg. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. It was me. a great story in Learning Post, and it really showed that there's another side of art that we don't normally see in schools. Can you talk a little of your concept? Well, uh, my program is much more formal than art. You know, uh, in art, in the lower grades, students uh, have a lot of free expression, and um, pretty much all their work there is no criticism it's it's all acceptable it's all exploration but on my level the kids learn about how to design formally and this is from ninth grade all the way up to twelfth grade and uh, it takes in drawing specking out materials appropriate materials and then construction building something now I heard that it all started off this is the story as it goes from Terry Fredrickson from the Learning Post it all started off with a mouse trap. Is that right? <laughs> well, I had the, the mousetrap was one of my most exciting projects right. because the students got their grade by bringing in a mouse. Uh, I brought a mouse to school. We gave him a name, Edward, put him in a confined area. Actually, the mouse is so curious, he will trap himself almost every time, <laughs> but uh, even without food. Uh, but the students really, t to see what they know about living creatures, uh, these kids are very wealthy, come from good homes and uh, they don't have a lot of exposure to nature and really know about the living basics things of life the way a farmer would know, mm. you know. So, so it was an exciting uh, right so project. in fact originally you'd seen something i think in thailand was made from two plastic water bottles right uh, there was a, on thai tv for a long time there was a trap uh, advertised it was only about 40 baht it was ingenious it used three four blow molded plastic parts and a water bottle and it was very humane it didn't mm -hmm. kill the mouse but uh since there's such a surplus of water bottles here anyway it was ingenious and i thought take this man's idea and let's see how my students solve it without copying the release system how much time the do they have to resolve the problem well these these um the this this project would run anywhere from about uh five uh, five weeks to about seven weeks it's quite so it's long yeah okay mm -hmm. now then you came up with a, another concept of a pan that I think is used in Udon Tani for food in, in my travels I went up in Udon and they use a small uh, frying pan katat and mm -hmm. uh, sai mu and uh, sausage and eggs and the man has about 20 30 of these on the grill and I was watching him in a restaurant I got the idea for the project he has to take the pan off the fry uh, off the heated area with his apron because the pans are so hot even the even the handles are hot so the students design a handle using two materials that fits into the, uh, two materials to make a, a handle that would snap off and snap on the pan take it off and on the heat any chance of uh, making this a commercial venture for your <laughs> students is that the next step uh, no it's just with, with the good part about this project is it really makes a student think a lot and uh, one one the very important thing about my classes is that in, engage students into thinking of solving problems mm. and looking at the resourcefulness then in fact you got a retractable electric cord you wanted something to carry this cord around yeah. in in that project i gave the students a um, contract the way a designer would be contracted by sony or one of the major manufacturers and i specified in this contract i gave a student a reel of cord that I bought in Bon Mall, which is the electronics area of Bangkok. And the student had to come up with a retractable extension cord that was high style. And um, one of my little students, a Japanese girl, she made a uh, beautiful container out of brass, did all the fitting herself and concept. She uh, was a little weak in drawing in the beginning, so she made a paper pattern to start with and then, then could realize the concept by drawing it after she could see it. We're told by your students that uh, you're a little tough in as much as you make them draw first. <laughs> They'd like to just get in and make it, but you actually make them draw. 
after they come out of the very expressive uh, early years in middle school and so forth, and they get into my class, they realize that it's not an art class. It's very rigorous, mm -hmm. and uh, they're a lot, it's very demanding, and there's specs on absolutely everything. Uh, so they the learn the right the way to do it. Is your background in industrial design? My background is a graphic designer, graphic mm. artist, and a puppeteer in America. Oh, really? Have you tried puppeteering here? Um, I have. I, I've not, not had the time, really. I've been so involved with this program. Mm. You also, apart from the inventions we're talking about now, you've also got a jewelry class where you actually go and buy, I'm told, bits of rough silver, and then they have to melt them down. The students work the very same way a gold shop uh, would operate here in Bangkok. They go out and uh, they, they're given silver, an ingot rough form, cast it into an ingot, roll it into sheet, make their own wire, and then from a drawing again, uh, which they design, they fabricate a design, learning the finesse of silver soldering and using a whole variety of hand tools. Same as a goldsmith here, the same as a trade. And you also have a woodworking course. I have a woodworking class for 7th and 8th graders middle school and they are fabricating a Thai instrument. Before that, they were doing shelves and very ordinary things that they would design. Mm. And I, this time, um, made them all do the same project because I wanted them to come away with a piece of Thai culture, which is so important. And it's really wonderful woodworking when you're making a wood musical instrument. Mm. Now, I believe you've got them doing now a robot sumo, sumo car? Sumo robot car. Can we have a look at that? Yeah. This is a a project where every student builds the same platform of the I car. I hold it still, yeah. Uh -huh. And there's a serial port jack where it joins onto an umbilical cord that goes to a control box. The students each receive three little copy machine motors. I'll try to turn this over and yes, show you. Yes, please. Uh, on the bottom, there's small motors. These uh -huh. are copy machine motors that drive the lens back and forth from a data board in a copy machine. And each student receives three motors. Two of the motors are used for steering. And the third motor is used for offense and defense. And uh, this student, his name is Dan McGowan. He's real proud. He's finished first. And his idea is um, the motor reels up a small forklift in the front and takes the other car's wheels off the ground, and then he pushes the car off out of the sumo circle. This is amazing. Yeah. Are you impressed? Oh, very impressed, because he had, they use what they learn in school, physics, and um, in their science classes about fulcrums. Mm -hmm and levers and he had to weight the car down in order to have enough weight to push the other car off. I think what you're doing, I think uh, Terry was quite right that it was a story we had to get. Um, Jerry, I'd like to thank you for coming along and showing what you're doing with these youngsters and, and what you're giving to Thailand youth. Thank you so much. Every success and uh, let's hope we can send PK or someone out to have a look at what you're doing. <laughs> thank, thank you, you very for joining much for us. inviting me. Thank you. After this short break, Sanson is here and she'll bring you what's on. สนุกกับการเที่ยวทั่วไทย